Okay. Can you write okay with this, Graham? Here, turn it this way. What's this? This is a ruler. A ruler. So which sound is it? Or which letter is it? Okay. What is that one? Airplane. Yeah, I would think it would be airplane too, but they're gonna it's gonna be jet. J jet. Which one's jet? Somebody looks tired to me. You're so detective-ish. I know, I'm getting my detective school. Oh my goodness. <coughs> You're pretty snazzy. Break. Very good. What's the next picture? Do you know what this one is? It, it is a flower, but what kind of a flower is it? A rose. Very good. Hey guys, good morning. It's school work on a Monday. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. I'm so glad for that. It's been lots of clouds and rain. If you guys saw my last little video clip, you could see all the flooding that we've had here in Tennessee. It has been crazy rainy, and I'm so happy to see the sunshine today. So I just thought I'd take you guys along with me. We're just gonna be doing some school, and I don't think we're going anywhere today. It's just gonna be an at-home day, and I think I'm gonna show you guys our puzzle collection. We've done, I think, eight puzzles since January, and they've all been really pretty and a lot of fun. I've gotten them all on Amazon, and so I thought I would show you guys our puzzle collection. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, we'll see what else we get into today. This girl of mine has just improved on her cursive handwriting so much this year. It's absolutely beautiful. So proud of you. Do you know that so many people don't even know how to write cursive anymore? It's a beautiful art, isn't it? You have very nice handwriting. Very good. Very proud of you. Oh my goodness, look what time it is. It's the pit of laundry. Oh yes it is. Laundry time. One balloon plus one balloon equals how many balloons? Four plus one is five. That's a great five. Good job. You're getting it now. Start a load of towels here. Oh, my laundry's soaked up. <laughs> ah, dear. It's already been a Monday. I really um, did not expect to be having such trouble with my youngest with school today, I tell ya. He is just not on his game today. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you have days like that. Like, I think that I will how great my kids doing in school and they're like what's what does the a say we don't know mm -hmm. yeah anyway oh well <laughs> doing a load of towels I love these um uh, what would you say smoky gray charcoal towels from um, Sam's Club because they just don't show the dirt like white ones do I've been getting them instead of white towels lately because I'm so tired of just trying to keep white towels clean. So, been loving them. This room is an absolute disaster right now because um, we just, um, Mike built a table and love it. 
However, uh, we have our old table sitting out there. So we still um, are going to get some or make some benches. And then example, I got some dark chairs, kind of to match the, six by six. the um, hardware on those six doors. Six. So I had gotten these benches to replace um, some of the stools that we had that just didn't really look very good anymore. And they really tie in nice with that. And then yeah, there's our new table. So that's exciting. I can't wait till we have the benches and we can sit more people around the table. No. All right, back to school. Three, four, nine, five, nine, ninety-six, ninety. A hundred. Very good. It's worth one cent. Okay. A penny. It's worth one cent. Okay. Here. I'm going to tell you things to do. Ready? Put the penny on the table. Okay. Good. Put the penny under the table. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Put the penny on your knee. Yes. <laughs> Can you put it on your knee? There's your penny. Like this? Huh? On your knee. Put it on your knee. How? Where's your knee? Right there. Honey. Oh my goodness. Honey, I think you need to go back to bed. <laughs> there he Okay. Put the penny on your knee. Put the penny on top of your head. Do you know where your head is today? Oh, what a relief. Okay. Put the Put the penny on your wrist. Very good. All right, where's the nickel? Put the penny next to the nickel. Where's the nickel? Where's the nickel? You, you've got a couple things there. There you go, that's the nickel, that's right. All right, now put the nickel on top of the penny. The nickel's worth five. All right, it doesn't have to be on your wrist, okay? Yes, it does. Yeah, well, okay, if you want it to be. All right, so you put put the nickel on top of the penny. Did you do that correctly? Yes. No, no you, you did not. That's the penny on top of the nickel. <laughs> put the nickel on top of the penny. Huh? Oh, my. It's going to be hard. The nickel, there you go. You did it, okay. Put the nickel beside the penny. All right. Put the nickel between your two hands. What? Put the nickel between your two hands. Where is your nickel? Where did it go? There. Okay. Put it between your two hands. Okay. Well, like, um... Yeah, you can put the penny down. Put the nickel between your two hands. Very good. Okay, now put the nickel on your elbow. <laughs> Got our high schooler working over here, hard at work. She's already finished up several of her courses for the year, so that's pretty exciting. I think everybody just needs a nice, brisk walk out here in the sunshine. That's what I think. <laughs> it's nice to see the sun. Uh, we can also see the pasture again. The water's gone down, and uh, we're left with a ton of mud now. <laughs> Yay. Let's see what this boy is up to. See a belly button. What is this? Did you build that? This? Yeah. Not right now. But you did, right? Yeah. You and but... Becca? <laughs> he's so deep in the world of Legos over here. That is what he's doing. Here comes Snickers to investigate the situation. You just love Legos, don't you? I almost stepped on your Legos. Oh my. Snickers, 
right, kids are outside in the sunshine. It's like lunchtime, and I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. Do y'all like to clean out the refrigerator? Because I sure don't. It's just really gross to me. And just sort of fills the sink up with all kinds of dirty dishes. And you know, I really do. I try to keep up with cleaning out the fridge on a very regular basis. Like, I really try to clean out the fridge every week. But it's just amazing to me how much stuff accumulates in there. And yeah, I just don't like it. It's really don't. Anyway, since it's Monday, I'm like, huh, what are we gonna eat this week? Y'all got some good ideas? Leave them in the comments. Okay, so I went through uh, one of my favorite cookbooks, Hope's Table, and got some different ideas for what to have for our meals this week. And I have a menu plan, y'all. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it feels so much better. <laughs> I've got fajitas with Mexican rice. Um, I've got some breakfast ideas, okay, and also dinner ideas. So, um, biscuits and gravy. Roast and potatoes, granola with berries. Um, I do have stuff to make a lasagna, so I put that down. Hot dogs and baked beans, waffles and fruit sauce. I do have a bunch of peaches to use, um, so I thought maybe I could do a peach sauce. Mac and cheese and cheesy breadsticks. Uh, bagels and oatmeal, burgers and fries with coleslaw, spring roll bowls, and I'd like to try um, doing something like a mango chicken curry. So that's an idea. And then um, a pasta salad for a skate party at our church. So those are my ideas. I have a grocery list. And yeah, now I've just got to figure out how to get the things on the list. It's not a lot, but you know, each thing needs something, it seems like. So, anyway, menu's done. So, something that I thought would be really fun is to show you guys um, our puzzle collection. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so yes, we've collected uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've completed eight puzzles since January, and I just thought it would be fun to show you guys the puzzles. Let me see. Well, I can keep them on the lap. I'll show you guys the puzzles. They are either three or five hundred piece puzzles, and they all have larger pieces. So it was a lot of fun for old and young alike. I found that five hundred. It seemed to be about the max of a puzzle size that we wanted to complete. Um, I think once you know you go higher than that, it just takes a while, and it's fun to see something get completed in a decent amount of time. <laughs> um, 500 takes several days usually, and then 300, yeah, they they can go kind of quick. So anyway, let me show you guys what I've got. Um, Buffalo. When it says the word buffalo on there, I love these puzzles. They're a great size. And look at this one. How fun is that with all the tropical beach vibes and everything? We did that one in the heart of January, I think it was. And oh, it just, yes. Actually, no, I believe we did this one in February, probably, or at the end of January. But anyway, I just loved it. This one is a 300 piece puzzle, and I thought that was a lot of fun too. It went together pretty fast, but it was so full of colors, and yeah, there again, it has the buffalo pieces. This one says buffalo as well. It's a 300 piece puzzle, and it's so cute. Look at this. The cats are into all kinds of mischief. They are in the sink and everywhere. Caleb picked this puzzle out and he just thought it was the best thing ever. So that was a fun one. We have this one, 500 piece. Super cute little general store. Lots of um, colors in that one as well. 500 piece. This is a 300 piece one. I think this was the first one that I actually bought. Um, it's a service station. OK, 
Caleb thought that was fun too since there's lots of trucks and trees and he really put together a lot especially when they were 300 piece puzzles he could do um, the large majority of the puzzle once it was 500 if I got it started and rolling then he was good with it this is a puzzle that I've had um, and we've done once before but then we did it again this year and this is the only puzzle that I have in our collection that did not come from um, Amazon. It actually came from Hobby Lobby and I had a coupon and I got it a couple of years ago. It's the cutest puzzle. Look at the llamas. Oh, so cute. It's a 300 piece. So yeah, and it has the larger pieces as well. All right, this was probably the hardest puzzle we did and I probably wouldn't buy this type of puzzle again because it was actually really annoying. <laughs> it's a bits and pieces puzzle and they show a normal looking piece on there but let it be known here and now that these pieces are anything but normal shape. They are every kind of shape imaginable and not all of them hook together. <laughs> It's, it's very difficult, but very cute. It was a nice wintry scene to do. Caleb wanted one that looked like winter or Christmas and pretty cute. All right, this is our latest puzzle we did. Probably the last one that I'm gonna get this winter. <laughs> but it is a 500 piece. It's a bigger puzzle. I don't know why they had to put it in such a big box because it makes it kind of difficult but here is this one try to get the glare off there you go really cute little scene with wildflowers and little dog cute little cowboy with his lasso and yeah it was fun it was also um a difficult puzzle i would say it took us a while to put together with all the flowers and the leaves and stuff and yeah, parts that you would think were the trees were actually the grass, and it was really fun. In fact, I have that one still together because I just finished it yesterday. So anyway, those have been a lot of fun. Now, if you have younger kids, the Ravensburger puzzles are really fun to do, um, really cute. We do have a bunch of those um, as well, and Caleb had a lot of fun with those as a younger child. You know, they're... I don't know they're under 100 pieces I believe so anyway lots of fun so have you guys been doing puzzles this winter it seems to have been kind of the thing to do this winter somehow some way I'd actually kind of like to do another puzzle but I feel like I need to stop right now but I had a great idea I was thinking maybe you have a group or maybe you have a church group but wouldn't it be fun to have in the winter time like a little spot you know maybe a couple shelves in your church like in a little room or something side room to kind of have a um like a sharing shelf or something where you can um have your puzzles favorite books um, maybe favorite movie, something like that. You have your name on it or whatever, so you can take it back. Um, but you could kind of like a little library almost for the winter months because um, winter can get long. I've talked about that in the past. Uh, in the past, I think I did it a couple videos ago. I did a video on winter and just different things to get through it. And puzzles was one of the ways that we chose this winter to just make the winter months seem a little bit brighter. But that kind of came to my mind. I thought that would be a fun idea to have a little library, loaning library. <laughs> oh, all right, well, there's the puzzle haul. <laughs> So um, the guys brought up a load of firewood uh, from the woodshed. It's incredible how much wood we've gone through this winter so far. It's been a colder winter, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and stack this up. So. go grab my my favorite tool my favorite power tool <laughs> I talked about that in another video do you remember what it was it's a leaf blower anyway 
<laughs> I'm gonna go grab that and just blow off the porches. <laughs> Kids look like uh, looks to me like their feet are naked. What do you think? It's not as warm as that looks. Just saying. <laughs> Bare feet, huh? What's up with that? It's summer. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You're muddy! You're muddy! <laughs> 15,000 million people! Feels good out, doesn't it? Yeah! Now we're gonna go creek walking! Oh no! Creek walking? Uh huh. Well, here come the chickens, just hoping for a handout. I think I do have some in the kitchen actually. Well, oh dear, I shouldn't have brought him over here. I came to check out the bulbs because looky there, tulips and daffodils are coming up along with some weeds. But it is fun to see. Snicker! <laughs> he's a nut. <laughs> I think he's happy to be out. You're crazy! Thought I'd show you guys the garlic. It's growing pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's our sad little crew of chickens. <laughs> Kids are gonna go get the eggs. Yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys how much wood we've gotten through this winter so far. So yeah, this whole thing was completely full, so we've gone through quite a bit. We'll go through a bit more yet, but um, yeah, made a good dent on it. What I'm excited about though is these blossoms coming on. We've got spring coming. Look at that blue sky today. Looks fantastic to me. Let's come on down here and guess what you're gonna see. There they are, there's Mr. Buckley. And there's the does. They all want out, but the fence has to be fixed yet from the flooding. Hear that water gushing. Beautiful. Do you want to guess? How many, oh my goodness. 40 eggs. 40? Basically, there's 38, but I would say 40. Wow. That's incredible. We have not gotten the eggs in a little bit. Look at that! One more egg because this chicken is cute! Off, one more egg, go! Oh, don't let him eat them! They know. Yeah. yeah, that's how he gets into them, huh? Oh! Oh! Ah, did he peck you? <laughs> I locked you in. Hey! <laughs> wow, that is one big bucket of eggs! That's pretty exciting. That's what I like. I like waiting for a long time to do Yeah, but we don't want them to go bad either, so. They look good though. Wow. This practice is going pretty hard. I got three loads and I'm gonna sip some tea. I have um, organic Earl Grey with some creamer in it, a little bit of half and half, it's really good. Mm. While I do my laundry, I like to watch um, a little show like YouTube or something like that. So I'm watching Megan Fox 
today and um, yeah it just helps my folding time go quicker and actually makes me enjoy folding laundry so that's what I'm gonna do right now All right, still feeling a little tired, but it is what it is, and I need to get some stuff going um, for supper. You know, just kind of get that started. It's 4:30, and I need um, to just chop some things up and kind of make it ready to go. Cause when these people's hungry, they're hungry. Mm-hmm. That way, that is it. That way in your house too. Like when they're hungry, they are hungry, and you better have food ready. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna get going on that, and yeah, I came out of my room from folding laundry, and I feel like things just sort of disintegrated around me. There was like mud in the sink. My camera battery died. Anyway, there was mud in the sink, and just, you know, they'd had a snack, and so that was left on the counter, and just this and that. So I always feel like if I take a second of a break, that I'm always, met with stuff when I come back out. Anyway, they are out riding in the field on the four-wheeler, it looks like. So, all right, I'm gonna get started here. So, this one video I watched, um, it was so fun. She um, went to Trader Joe's, the gal I was watching went to Trader Joe's, and got her groceries, and I was thinking, oh my goodness, that would be so fun. Oh man, this battery's dying too. Okay guys, hang on. <laughs> All right, well this one only has a little bit of battery left, so anyway, I guess I'll conserve it. I'm gonna <laughs> start supper here and dream about shopping at Trader Joe's. Oh no, this one's dead too. <laughs> okay, I have some battery again. Anyway, I wanted to show you what came in the mail today. I, we are on slab and concrete, you know, and my feet are in back are always hurting. Um, I thought I would try out some Asics this time. Is that I think these were like, what, were, what are they? There was, over here. just a minute, there was a certain kind of Asics that they were. Yes, Gel Venture 5. And these had like really, really good reviews on Amazon. So I did decide to try them out in hopes that uh, they'll give my <laughs> back and feet some good support. The other thing that I got is some more um, Lemongrass Spa face wash. And I also decided to try, it's dried mango. I also decided to try their um, Sheer Minerals Liquid Foundation in the shade Cashmere. I recently became a consultant with Lemongrass, mostly to get the discounts on their products. I absolutely love their face wash and such. Uh, I was gonna try to see if I could find that. I guess I flipped past it. But I really like their face wash. I love that they're so natural. I would have to say that they're probably the most natural products on the market that I've ever seen. Just, And then they have all the makeup as well. But yeah, if you guys are interested, you can shop my link. I'm not pushing it or anything, but I do really like their stuff a lot. All right, guys, fajitas are made. We're going to have supper. And I think that's about it for today. All right, guys, so that's all for today. It's been a full day, and um, yeah, we're just going to wind it down here for the night. I hope you enjoyed following along with us today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comments below what you're having for supper this week. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.